Welcome to day one of the band workout. Look guys, the entire country's been shut down. All gyms are shut down. My goal here is to give you the tools you need to get the results that you want. Look, we don't need to lose game, gains while outside the gym. We don't need to lose anything. All we need is right here. We need these mini bands. I already gave you all links to these. If you don't have them, down below. I don't sell these myself, but I will recommend where to buy them. Other things you need are regular resistance bands. I will have others coming in. These you can buy at Dick's Sporting Goods. This is a medium band. This is a light band. This is a heavy band. They say they're worth certain amounts of weights, but eh, I'm not gonna quantify weights. This one's really freaking hard. This one's really freaking easy. And this one's right in between. That's all you need to know. I'm gonna have other bands coming in, other options, and you're gonna see how easy it is to get a great workout. And this will be, I guarantee you this, if you're not sore from this chest workout, I'm not gonna make any joke about, you're probably dead, not the time for that joke, guys. However, let's start this. Okay, the workout's gonna be great. First thing we're gonna do would be neural activation. We're gonna warm up our shoulders and our chest area, neurally activate it. The second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our power movement. We're gonna do some very, very, very good contraction movements. Do a lot of different movements that'll get you the results that you need. First thing we're gonna do is mini band pull aparts. So what you do with that, you take your mini band, put it around your hand, use an easy mini band. Do not use the black one. The black one is the hardest, the green one's the easiest. Do not use the BBB, the big black band. We're gonna take this, get down into push-up position, hold a plank, one, one, two, out, in, three, three, four, four, five, five. That's set one. Between sets, rest about 20 to 30 seconds. So even if we do more sets, I'm gonna show you two of the sets just so you kind of get a handle on what it is. I'm gonna go the other way now. This is three sets of five. This is my second set. One, one, two, two, three. Really try to reach out. Three, four, four, five, five. Notice your shoulders and your chest are getting worked out here. Since we can't go extremely heavy on these, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pre-exhaust our chest with a fly. Well, Mark, how are we gonna do flies without cables? and without dumbbells, ha <laughs> I got the BBB, the big black band right here. And these are the bands, again, you can buy these at Dick's. However, I have some other options coming to me because they just arrived that you're gonna see that we actually got on Amazon for a much better price. Anyway, check this out. Take the band, loop it through. Boom. Okay, how do you do a fly? Nice tight core, boom. Oh God, that's awesome. Dude, this, oh, the tension. You feel your pack working. I'm gonna take off my hoodie, I'm getting sweaty. And I'm so activated from the first exercise. Woo. Y'all don't even know. Ah. Uh, I like to feel my booby. Feel the work. Now I apologize if you don't have such a scenic backdrop when you're training. Do four sets of 15 of these I'm gonna show you another set right now. So here's a different angle. So you can see what I'm doing. See the band's tense? One. It really gets the tension at the end of the movement. And if it gets easy, let's move out. And the core activation. Oh man, the sun's poking through. I'm getting hot, guys. It's crazy. So the thing is, the squeeze. 
<laughs> Kids are coming, bring the other bands. So you're gonna do, you're gonna do four sets of 15. Four sets of 15. Four sets are gonna be awesome. Because you're gonna feel it, you're gonna get pre-exhausted, and you're gonna be totally ready to absolutely crush the next thing. My chest is already on fire. It's already on fire. I'm not even, I'm not even a quarter way through the workout. Check it out, guys. So these are the new ones we got from Amazon. These are SunPal brand. I'm gonna show you other brands. Because the way I've been promoting these, they've been selling out. Because these are only like, what were they, 35 bucks for all five of these. Thing is, for people like my wife, can't fully extend this yellow one. Because it's, and even skills, but this one, this green one is really light. Different variances of different levels of hardness. There's five, right? Five of them. It's the cheapest brow you I found. I'm gonna link it down below. It's at Amazon. I'm just trying to help you all here. So, um, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get these unwrapped. We're gonna start using these now. What great timing. And Amazon, props to you for getting this to me in a day. You told me to be here Thursday. Sun Pal brand. Oh my God. <laughs> Now that, remember, I'm a 500 pound bencher. Alright, I'm gonna switch size. I have one and a half more sets. So here's the beautiful thing about the Sun Pal ones. Katie wasn't able to get any tension at the bottom because the light skills one was still a little much. But this, um, this baby weight she has here <laughs> is actually perfect for her. Katie doesn't even lift. Honestly, I, okay, I don't know about you, but after today, I think I'm gonna skip a lot more days at the gym and come out, come out and do this, especially when it's nice out, when it's sunny. Can you imagine in the summer coming out here getting a tan? That would be amazing. We're not gonna live right here in the summer, thank God. <laughs> yeah, but there's parks right by our house even better than this. So check it out guys, push-ups. Well, push-ups aren't resistance. They are, if you add resistance. This is why I don't like the ones with the handles. You can't do the stuff you can do with these resistance bands. You just can't do them. Throw this thing over your back, okay? Loop it around your arm, around the back. Get down on the ground, push-up position. Elbows in, one, slow, squeeze. Literally failure at eight. Crazy, right? All with bands. Sorry I had to take my hoodie off. I was schwitzing. I didn't want to schwitz. I don't know if I could do this. I don't even know if I could do this one. This is the head, the extra heavy one. Um, I already weigh 240. I believe this adds another 756 pounds. We'll put it around. Oh God, this is gonna suck. Okay, woo. So I'm gonna try and get eight. Again, we're only using bands. So here's the thing, control your reps. Control your reps, focus on the squeeze. We'll get you through to the gym's open again. So some of y'all women out there who can't do push-ups, find yourself a bench, a stool, whatever the hell this thing is. AMRAP. I do not like seeing push-ups from your knees. It's horrible, horrible position. I don't like it, I hate it. Hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So we're gonna do, find a place. More of a decline push-up, pushing away. This is what I prefer you do. Now, get off your knees. There's only one reason you should be on your knees, and that's to pray. Single arm band press. Think about it like a single arm bench press 
or going on the cable crossover and just squeezing it. That's what we're doing here. So find something to attach this to. Come in here. Boom. Okay. After the push-ups, really hard. I am fatigued. As for foot stance, just grab your stability. Stagger. This is also exhausting here. Triceps, shoulders, all your stabilizers, core. Everything. So the thing about this, come in, squeeze forward. Squeeze, there you go. My chest pump is sick right now. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, it's 50 degrees out. I'm sweating. Man, this feels great. Again, you might learn something new. Now you have to be resourceful, your gym's closed. Who knows? I'm just getting a little sexy here. You gotta find your distance. <laughs> you see that action? It's getting straight up, straight up contraction. It feels great. Like I told y'all. Ain't no joke. Let me find my distance. There it is. You want a little bit of tension at the beginning. Is it kind of weather? Even with a pump, your nipples are still hard. Anyway, check it out. I want to say one more thing. Hold on, I'm going out of frame. I want to say one more thing. When you train, your immune system is lower from hard training. I'm not saying anything cures all this shit going around. I've always said this. Keep your intra workout nutrition in check. Make sure you get your PCA during training. I make machine fuel. It's always with me. I was just thinking about that. Another thing, take all the shit out of there. Take machine fuel out of there. Hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I've read things that hydration will actually help prevent a lot of shit. I don't know about that. All I know is that no matter what, if you're not hydrated, you're not healthy. So stay hydrated. For those of you who've purchased my 12-week chest training program on ml2training.com, you'll know that I'm a big fan of plyometrics. Plyometric push-ups, plyometric whatever. If plyo's in the name, it's in my game. Did you hear that, Katie? That's a fucking shirt right there. All right, check it out. I'm gonna show you three different variations of what you're gonna do at the end. If your chest is too tired to do plyo push-ups, all I want you to do is push-up. Push-ups I don't want you here. I want you to keep your elbows in, just flex your lats, back straight, butt nice and tight, like you're trying, like you're in prison, or try not to fart in science class. Neutral spine, come down, one. Come down, two. Come down, you get it? That is a push-up. A plyo push-up will be simply leaving the ground. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do my set. Since I am such a superb athlete, alpha male, master of the universe, some call me Thanos. What I'm gonna show you how to do is a plyo push-up with a hand clap, okay? Don't do this for the first time without a pillow under your face. Because it would hurt. Especially on this surface. So, I'm gonna ask you to do two sets. Two! Two sets to failure. All right? Be careful on failure. Once you notice you're losing it, go to regular push-ups. Because failure on a hand clap push-up means you break your nose. So here goes, this is my set. 
Maybe you do two of these. Got it, I'm ready. Two. When you get tired, go to regular plyos. Go, go, explosion. Regular push-ups. See what you, what I just showed you is something called slippery floors. Also something called progressions. So if you can't do plyos, you do regular push-ups. Can't do hand claps, you do plyos. Do hand claps, you fail on those, you go to plyos. Fail on those, you go to push-ups. Do two sets of those, you're done with chest for the day. Everybody's gonna ask me, including you, motherfucker. Not you, Katie. It's meant at the guy behind the computer screen or on his iPhone right now. What do I do for abs? So every day I'm gonna give you a bonus abdominal workout. It's gonna take you literally a minute. Cause we just had to stand stable doing this. We had to stand stable doing this. We had to control our bodies. Katie, what is the greatest non-squat or deadlift ab movement there is? If I was a pirate, I would walk the... Plank. Yay! So planks are usually done on your elbows. Number one, I'm not putting my elbows on this goddamn concrete. Number two, what is today? It's chest day. <laughs> so how can we, that means you and I, me and you, us, keeping our social distance, right? Making sure we're not making any bodily contact. No bodily fluids being exchanged. How can we do that? The push-up plank, my friend. Now, I hear people say, I can hold a plank for three minutes. Shut up, bitch. If you can hold a plank for more than 30 seconds, you're doing it wrong. I want you to do these things. I want you to hold it for 30 seconds. Katie, I'm gonna need you to count for me. Because I can't count, I'm Polish. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to squeeze your stomach like you're trying to make yourself poop. You've been constipated for six days. But I want you at the same time, I want you to squeeze your butt like you're in prison and you just dropped the soap. I want you to do those at the same damn time. I want you to squeeze your quads, squeeze your arms, squeeze your chest. I want you to tighten your body like you've never tightened it before. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Go. But tensed. Boom. Ain't nobody getting in this butthole, Katie. Try. Try and put something in there. Go ahead, try. I dare you. I dare you. Try. It's not going in. It's not going in. Oh, this is hurting. Just as Halfway. Camping. Halfway. Halfway. Uh, Ten. Nine. My buttocks. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. 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 <laughs> All right. Guys, I appreciate you joining me every single day. Every single damn day. I will see you. Hop on the band wagon. This will be the greatest gains of your life. Don't look at this corona bullshit as something to set your back. And it might set you back. And for those of you who are struggling right now, I hurt for you too. I feel for you. We've been there. But know that I'm here for you. Get a hold of me, DM me on Instagram at Mark Lobliner. My email is Mark, M A R C at MTSNutrition.com. And of course, you can find me as always on Pornhub.com. I'll see you next time.